begins. What's going on? Welcome to Ms Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Agatha Christie novels. My success it is founded on psychology, or the why of human behaviour. It is this that I use. For this list, we'll be looking at the best books by the Queen of Mystery. What's your favourite Agatha Christie novel? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. The ABC Murders 1936. Agatha Christie's famous detective Hercule Poirot hunts for a serial killer who murders people with the same first initial in their first and last names. You mean those people were complete strangers to the murderer? Percy Simon Hastings? Chosen only because of his mania for the alphabet. He was too late to save Alice Asher, Betty Barnard, and Carmichael Clarke. This is not only one of Agatha Christie's best stories, but it's also one of the first ever serial killer novels. All of the victims are hazard, yes, except for one. This monster is committing a series of murders in order to draw away our attention from one murder in particular. Something else that makes this novel unique is Christie's use of both first and third person narratives. The arrogant killer leaves a trail of clues for Poirot to follow, which just might be his downfall. It was the fingerprint on the typewriter that really clinched things, of course. Ah, the fingerprints, yes. They are useful. Number 9, Five Little Pigs, 1942. The original title of this mystery was Murder in Retrospect, but given its premise, Five Little Pigs, is probably a more fitting name. Yeah, but then it makes the logic that one of these five people must have done so. There's no reason why any of them should. No, but all the same, I think I should pay to them each a visit. Get five different versions of the same event. Hercule Poirot is back again to investigate the five suspects of a 16-year-old murder case. Each of the possible killers tells Poirot their version of what happened giving this novel a sort of Rashomon style of storytelling. During the trial, I was never asked a question to which I returned an untrue answer, but I was guilty of withholding certain facts. And I do not repent of that, Monsieur Poirot. To add some novelty to the mystery, each of the suspect's alibis mirrors a line from the childhood song, Five Little Pigs. With so many different perspectives on the same tragic event, Poirot has his work cut out for him. But sometimes what we accept as the truth may not be the full story, n'est-ce pas? And sometimes it may not be true at all. Number 8. Peril at End House, 1932. Nothing puts a damper on a vacation like discovering that there's an attempted murderer on the loose. I was beginning to imagine you in a dark, mysterious mansion, haunted by a family curse. Well, if it is haunted, the ghost must be sent to protect me. I've had three escapes from sudden death in the last three days. After witnessing an attempt on the life of Magdala Nick Buckley, Poirot puts her under his protection, hoping to prevent her murder. But who would want her dead? As he investigates, the plot thickens tenfold. The New York Times book review praised the novel as diabolically clever. I have been blind. Blind. Complex, I have said, mais non. Of a simplicity extreme, extreme. And the miserable one that I am, I saw nothing. Like many of Christie's works, this book has been adapted into all different types of media, including a graphic novel and even a computer game. Number 7 Evil Under the Sun, 1941. This one is yet another tale of Christie's famous world class sleuth. Hercule Poirot. Are you all comfortable? Even the murderer? As in Peril at End House, Poirot attempts to go on holiday, but there is just no rest for this detective. Uh, 
sky is blue, the sun is shining, and yet you forget that everywhere there is evil under the sun. Shortly after his arrival to a seaside resort, amid a social powder keg of animosity and tension, a young woman, Arlena Stewart, is murdered. Christie's clever use of red herrings and misdirection keeps you on the edge of your seat for the entire read. Just try to keep up with Poirot as he narrows down the suspects and solves the mystery. Rest assured, with Hercule Poirot, mysteries never last for long. Number 6. A Murder is Announced, 1950 Set aside Hercule Poirot, Christie's 50th published book stars another one of her recurring detectives, Miss Marple. But I hope your visit here is a genuine one and you are not concerning yourself with police business. Of course, Inspector. Taking place in post-World War II Britain, the story sees someone anonymously posting an ad in the Chipping Cleghorn Gazette that promises an upcoming murder. It says today, today at 7.30. What do you think is going to happen? Death. Delicious death. With time running out for her to prevent the crime, Miss Marple must be at her very best. And this novel is in fact considered by many to be the best out of all of Miss Marple's adventures. It's also considered to be a classic in the crime fiction genre. It's been fascinating listening to what people saw or thought they saw last night. Haven't you found that? No. No. Because in reality, they couldn't actually have seen anything, could they? Go on. Rumour has it, Christie tried out some of the schemes and misdirections used in this book on her neighbours. But why? What's the point of it? it? Seems a very stupid sort of joke and in very bad taste. Number 5 Death on the Nile, 1937 Agatha Christie is famous for the trapped with the killer type of story and this is one of her best. This novel takes place, you guessed it, along the Nile River in Egypt. We have the Karnak all to ourselves, a chef and enough champagne to fill the Nile. While on a cruise, Poirot discovers that there's a murderer hiding among the other passengers. Though Poirot must unravel many twists and turns along the way, he's dogged in his pursuit of the truth. What did you do last night? You accused me of murder. He accuses everyone of murder. It is a problem, I admit. Reviewers praise this Christie work not just for its adventurous story, but also for its well-developed characters. And, of course, for its climactic ending. You know, our big mistake, and unbelievable that I should go along with it, was to suppose that this crime was spontaneous. Not so, no. It was worked out meticulously in every detail. Number 4. The Mysterious Affair at Styles, 1920 this novel is a particularly special one in Christie's collection. It's her first ever published novel, and on top of that, it's also Hercule Poirot's first ever appearance. Good Lord! Monsieur Poirot! It is indeed, mon ami Hastings! <laughs> Plus, it serves as the introduction to some of Christie's other recurring characters, Arthur Hastings and Inspector Jab. When an acquaintance whom Hastings is staying with is poisoned, it's up to Poirot to find her killer. Eh bien, Hastings, we have in this room now six points of interest. Shall I catalogue them or will you? Oh, uh, well, um, you. Very well. Apparently, this first novel spawned from a dare propositioned by Christie's sister. How awesome is that? Christie may never have become the queen of mystery if not for this dare. One of those curious little facts, mon ami. We put it here. Number 3. The Murder of Roger Ackroyd, 1926 Just when he thought he was out, an unexpected murder pulls him back in. Chief Inspector, I have been idle for too long. Oh, come on, Poirot. Be like old times. Belgian detective Hercule Poirot is brought out of a well-earned retirement when a friend is murdered. 
The fields that are green are the secret burial places of the victims of murders most hideous. This is one of Christie's most well-known and widely celebrated novels. By the nature of Christie's whodunit style of storytelling, pretty much all of her works have shocking reveals or twist endings. But this one stands out among the rest as arguably Christie's best ever. Before I reveal my secret, you must both expound your theories to me. In fact, in 2013, it was voted as the best crime novel ever by the British Crime Writers Association. This is also Christie's first book to ever be adapted. It was turned into a stage play called Alibi and a movie a few years later. Number 2. Murder on the Orient Express, 1934 Hercule Poirot finds himself trapped on a train, stranded by snow with a killer among the passengers. As we are snowbound, I have elected to take the case and find for my friend Monsieur Book the criminal. And why you? My name is Hercule Poirot and I am probably the greatest detective in the world. Everyone seems to have something to hide, and the more clues he finds, the more they point him every which way. This novel was inspired by the tragic real-life Lindbergh kidnapping and murder in 1932, as well as Christie's personal adoration for the real Orient Express. Un peu cap. Mm, merci. Mm. Bon appétit. Et les œufs. It inspired many fans to ride the Orient Express themselves. This one will keep you guessing all the way until the end. There are two possible solutions to this crime. One difficult because it fits with most but not all of the facts and one more complex. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honourable mentions. Murder at the Vicarage, 1930 Enter Miss Marple Murder is Easy, 1939 Truth is Harder Crooked House, 1949 The Twistiest Tale of Them All Endless Night, 1967 more money, more problems. Curtain, Poirot's Last Case, 1975. The Belgian Detective's Final Bow. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. And Then There Were None, 1939 This is probably Christie's most famous, there's a killer among us who done it. The wicked flee when no man pursueth. Two accidental deaths in 12 hours? I don't believe it. You might not even realise that you've probably seen a version of this story referenced in pop culture before. The TV shows Family Guy and Boy Meets World have entire episodes paying homage. Enough of it! <laughs> Do we upset you? Yes! Upset you enough to kill? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> the book is not only the best-selling mystery novel in the world, it's one of the best-selling books of all time. After strangers are lured into a mansion on an island, they realise that a murderer is hunting them down one by one. Look, I trust you. Don't you trust me? Um, yes. That's Maurice. I'm coming closer! The growing tension between the guests, as they're methodically narrowed down, jumps right off the page. And then there were none. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.